Welcome to Stump the Idiot. I am the huge one, I kid the idiot, Dave Coco from Wrestling M, a podcast on YouTube, Coco Sports, and I also stream here and on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. And this is Stump the Idiot, a Q&A question. Feel free to hit me up on the Twitter machine at Coco Sports or down in the comments or Discord or anywhere, really. Uh, and uh, I will answer your questions in 16 years. I don't know when this was posted. When was this posted? Whoop. November 18th. All right, that's not too bad. I'm answering it in December 4th. You know, I'm like Santa. I, I get around to it eventually. All right. Who would you say is the Mount Rushmore of Pride fighting? I have my list here, boys. But I have a minor in history. That's right. I have a minor in history. And I have concussions with memory problems. And I have five people on this list. I thought Mount Rushmore had five faces on it. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. I just always assumed there was five dudes up there. Like, I knew about the four. And I like thought there was a fifth mystery guy. It was me. It was me all along. I, I don't know. I am an idiot. I actually have five. <laughs> five on the list. And then I go look. And I was like, what the hell? Why do we call it the Mount Rushmore? Why don't we call it the four horsemen of pride fighting? I honestly... Just to tell you how much of an idiot I am, I have a minor in history, and I had no idea there was no a fifth guy on Mount Rushmore. There you go. I even Google searched it. I was like, I got five. And I'm like, wait, is there five guys on Mount Rushmore? Google searched it. Only four. I'm a, I'm a fool. A fool, I tell you. All right. Let's do some runner-ups and the guy that got edged out by a KO kick. Uh, honorable mention, Shogun, Nog, Rampage. It was so hard not to put Rampage up there. Uh, Gomi, and of course, the War Master, Josh Barnett. And I could list more and more, but those were on the maybe list. And then the guy who got edged out, because I don't know how to count, is Wanda Silva. Wanda Silva does not make the Mount Rushmore. All right, so now that we all are clear that there's only four people on Mount Rushmore... Also one teacher of the year. <laughs> Former teacher of the year. Um, now that we're sure that there's only four people on Mount Rushmore. Uh, it's close. And Crow Cop barely makes it. And I literally just went to go watch their fights. I was like, whoever wins this fight, that's who will be in it. Crow Cop wins by a KO. Crow Cop's in. He's like the fourth guy all the way to the right. Uh, the top three are very close, um, but I'm going with Dan Henderson. He was a double champ. Uh, he uh, just absolute dominant, uh, great wrestler. So Dan Henderson is the third guy up on Mount Rushmore. And then this is really tough because I think maybe it's because I live in Japan. Maybe it's because I've been to pride fights. Maybe it's because I lived through pride Everyone says Fedor is number one. And Fedor is fantastic. Except Dana White, of course. <laughs> I love that Dana White. Anyone that's an old school Pride fan or an old school MMA fan. I love that Dana White is now considered a straight shooter. <laughs> uh, there was a, someone made a clip of him bashing Fedor. And then him praising every single person Fedor went up against except one. <laughs> Uh, Fedor has to make it on anyone's list, but number one in my heart, Sakuraba, you just think fucking tough guys. He's like, whatever. You want me to fight a heavyweight? Sure. Whatever. Here I go. Uh, Hoist Gracie was still pretty amazing, but I feel like his pride reputation is because, uh, let's see, what's what I'm looking for? His pride reputation isn't bigger because of how big his UFC uh, reputation is. So I think everyone besides Dana White, when he's the honest straight shooter that he is, uh, says Fedor. And I've seen a couple of people that don't put Sakuraba in the top 10. I've seen a couple of people, uh, yes, yeah, six, seven, eight. That's where people usually put them, but no way. Sakuraba uh, number one in my heart. He just took on anyone. The Gracie killer. Uh, Sakuraba. So there you go. So there's only four people on Mount Rushmore. We're learning a lot today here on Stump the Idiot, kids. Uh, Sakuraba, Fedor, Dan Anderson, Crow Cop. And it was not an easy decision. 
I also uh, took a while to do this video because then I did research on why they can't have a fifth guy in the mountain and why who the fifth mountain, who the fifth guy on the mountain was supposed to be. Yeah, this was a five second video, and I <laughs> I went down a internet loot of internet. Uh, what do they call it? Warpole. I don't know. I was distracted by, by the history of Mount Rushmore. Thank you, Golden Star Alex. Make sure to check him out at Golden Star Alex on a twin machine on Twitch. And just all around great guy. And um, Alex, did you know there was four people on Mount Rushmore? <laughs> yeah, I went, I went down a little wormhole where this five minute video, I was distracted by going, what? I got to learn more about Mount Rushmore. So who is your Mount Rushmore or your four horsemen of pride fighting? Let me know. I'm pretty sure I've done Mount Rushmore videos, Q&A videos, where I put a fifth guy in. I am pretty sure. I got Wanda Lee Silva. Wanda Lee Silva, you got to go up there and start fucking carving your own face in. All right. Send me any questions. Stump the idiot. Like, comment, subscribe. I am always on the Twitch machine. We're Coco Sports on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, X, and the mean streets of Yokohama. With that, I am over. -da 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 -da. Hey, so how many Statue of Liberties are there? Hmm. Whoop.